Hello, AP Lit students. Uh, this is number three on my language arts reflection video series. And one of the things I asked you to do was think about past, present, and future. So in the spirit of that, I went back this morning and read something from my past. Uh, in, in my school, in my high school growing up, the one thing you had to do your senior year was write an autobiography. Um, and I don't know if you recall uh, having an autobiography uh, that was part of the sophomore year curriculum a few years ago in Mason City, but uh, that always bothered me uh, that we didn't have the opportunity to write an autobiography as, as seniors here at, at Mason City because it was such a valuable experience for me. Uh, it's something that I did in the first five years I taught uh, at the, my first two schools. Uh, I made my seniors write an autobiography, and the, the minimum was 20 pages, and it reflected on various aspects of life, on uh, early childhood, on elementary, on middle school, and on their high school years, and then also there was a, a future chapter. Uh, and, and I loved it because I loved writing my own. Um, I went way overboard and, and ended up with, you know, 95 pages worth of autobiography uh, that I wrote as a senior. Um, and, and it's something that I always valued, but I went back and read it today for the first time in, in years. I, I still have it in file cabinet, and so I read it. I'm, I'm gonna make a confession. It was bad. <laughs> I, I, I did not feel good about the writing quality in there. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, some of you turned that in. Uh, I, most of you are better writers now than I was as a senior in high school. I don't think there's any question about that. Uh, I, I see shadows of, of who I was uh, then, um, but I think that I thought that I was a pretty good writer in high school and boy, the evidence is not there based on those 95 pages. I, I did not feel like that was a good piece of writing. Uh, and so thankfully, uh, somehow, most of you are, are better writers than that. And, and I hope that uh, I'm teaching you good things about writing uh, because I feel like I've improved a ton based on what that piece of writing was. Uh, so I, I really want to go back and I need to read, uh, you know, some writing of mine from a few years later and a few years after that and see, you know, when I started to look like some of the writer that I am now. But I'm going to be honest that that autobiography, there, there were some real struggles in there. Um, a lot of a lot of cliches, a lot of empty phrases, a lot of things I, I want to tell um, my 17-year-old self to, to lock down and, and write some specifics. Um, so one of the questions on your language arts reflection was, what's, one of your what's your favorite piece of writing that you've done? Um, some of you have never enjoyed writing. Some of you have never had a finished product that you thought, man, this is, this is really strong. This is great. Um, but I think it's a good question. I, I hope that you've written something that you're proud of, something that you think is important. Uh, part of me thought maybe that was it. After reading it again this morning, I know that my autobiography is, is not it. Um, I think maybe the writing that's been most important to me has been the, the individual writing, the audience of one writing. Uh, many of you know I'm big into that and, and I write a lot of letters. Uh, that's a big part of what I do. And, and so a lot of my correspondence uh, with, with former students, I, I still have several former students who you know, they've graduated several years ago and, and we still share letters back and forth. So um, that's writing that's important to me. And um, honestly, something that I started with my wife many, many years ago is, is probably the most valuable piece of writing that I have. Uh, when we started dating, uh, we were coming up on our one year anniversary of having dated. And I know that I was a know nothing 19 year old at that point. Um, but fortunately, I, I had an idea, and that idea was at the end of each year that we were together, um, I would write a, a summary of our year together. I would recount that and, and write basically a letter to her at the end of every year with pages and pages of, of my thoughts and from my perspective, our experiences together. Well, I started that in 1999, and, and now we're over 20 years into that book. Um, and, and so there are 20 years worth of our life together and, and my writings to her. And to have 20 years worth of um, my writing uh, in, in my own handwriting and to see who we were at those times and who I was and to see our relationship and our marriage um, go through, 
Um, I, I, I hope I get another 20, 30, 40 years of writing it. And, and it's something that uh, I, I, I treasure a lot. And so what is my favorite piece of writing? It's certainly not that autobiography. I'm glad that I did it. I think I need to go back and write some more to fill in the gap from the last 20 years. Um, but, but what's going to mean the most to me in, in 20 years from now, uh, it's going to be every year that I've written to my wife. Um, and so uh, writing doesn't have to be something that's huge, something that thousands of people are reading. Uh, yes, I do love when an audience reads my work. I think it's important to be published, to be read. You're writing for an audience. But don't ever forget that writing for an audience of one uh, might be the most important writing you do. So uh, that's a little more of my language arts reflection this week.